In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly and easily come up with melodies inside of FL Studio for your songs. I'll be showing you step-by-step -step what to do so you can start making melodies in minutes. I'm also gonna show you another trick that you can use inside of the piano roll that you may not know about. This means that you can create songs faster and get them out and get them heard. That sounds pretty good, right? Let's jump in. So last week I showed you how you can quickly and easily come up with chord progressions inside of FL Studio. I walked you through finding out what chords go inside of a key and then how to use the stamp tool in order to be able to put together a progression pretty quickly. If you didn't get a chance to watch that, you can go ahead and go back and watch that video. I'll put a link for it that you can check out. But this week I wanna take it a step further and show you how you can put together some melodies over top of those chord progressions that you created. So I'm gonna come in here and show you the chord progression that we made last week on the grand piano for a chorus and it was this one. And that just kind of repeats. So what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna extend that chord progression out. I'll show you how to tweak that a little bit and then we're gonna add a melody on top of that. So let's go inside of the chorus, double clicked on it to open up the piano roll. And really quickly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it down. I held down control and then use my mouse scroll wheel to pull it down to shrink it down. And then I'm gonna hold down control. I'm gonna left click and drag around to select all the notes. And then I'm gonna hold down and press or I'm gonna press Control and B. And what that does is just duplicate the chord progression and puts it right after the first chord progression. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here to these last uh, two sets of higher notes and I'm gonna bring them down an octave. So I highlighted them by again holding down Control, left clicking and dragging around them. And then I'm gonna hold down Control again and press the down arrow. And that's gonna bring those down an octave in this uh, piano roll setup. So now we're gonna have the same chords that are being played except I've created another inversion on the last two chords so it sounds a little bit different than the first time. So it just gives you a little bit of variety for the chorus as we're playing that. So now this is what we have. So you can see it just changed the feel of it a little bit so it brought that the tone of it down so it sounds a little bit different. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to come up with a melody that will go over top of this chord progression. So last week what we figured out is that we were going to do a, a song in the key of G major. So if you know the key that you're working in, what you can do is come up here to this uh, drop down arrow and then you can come to view. And if you go over here to the scale highlighting, you'll see that I have picked out a major scale and I picked out G major. So what this does for me is it shows me all the notes that are a part of the G major scale by the lighter notes that are on this grid. So you see the darker notes and then you see the lighter notes. And so from G That makes up the scale of G major. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a melody by using those notes that are part of that G major scale. And so I could come in here and just create something along these lines. So, I mean, it doesn't sound great, but you have created a quick melody by just using those uh, highlighted notes that are a part of the scale. Uh, so you could create something a little bit different. So if you wanted to say delete these, maybe shorten out some of those notes and then maybe lengthen some of these notes by holding when it turns to the double arrow and then you can drag it, left click and drag it so I can make longer notes. I can delete those other notes. So I could come in here and just play around with that and figure out a melody that would work. And again, I'm just working in that G major scale. I'm using the notes that are a part of that scale because I know that they're basically going to fit with the chords that I'm playing. 
But the other thing that I like to do is to figure out what notes those are on a little MIDI keyboard. And then I'll just come in here and I will play around on that MIDI keyboard to try to come up with something. So I'll just loop it and I'm just gonna try to come up with something on the keyboard as we're sitting here and you can see what I'm doing. So before I come up with that melody, what I'm gonna do is actually create a duplicate of this instrument. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna clone it. So it's gonna create another grand piano. So now I'm just gonna play that progression and then I'm just gonna mess with these notes and try to come up with a pattern that I think works and fits. All right, so it took me a little bit. So if you wanted to just record these notes out quickly from the MIDI keyboard, you could just come in here and make sure on the record button, if you right click on it, that the notes function or the notes uh, option is checked. And then you can um, set it up to record it. So once you figured out a melody, you could just press the R button to get it armed for recording and then try to record that really quickly. If you mess up like I did, just X that real quick and press the space bar again. All right, so then I've recorded in that melody. As soon as I press the space bar, that melody is gonna show up. But let's say that you didn't get a chance to press the record button or you really liked something that you did and you weren't able to quite make it sound the same again or get the same um, setup. There's a quick trick that you can do. Uh, you're gonna go over here and create a new pattern and we'll call this um, piano roll dump. You'll understand why we call it that here in just a second. Uh, so we're gonna come over here to tools we're gonna come down here to say dump score log to selected pattern for the last two minutes. And this is a really cool feature that a lot of people just don't know about inside of FL Studio. And what that does is it takes everything that you've played on that MIDI keyboard and just records all that MIDI and dumps it into this piano roll score for you. So if you came up with that melody that you really liked but you didn't capture it by recording it, you can still come back here and get it. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna left click and drag around it, press Control and X, and then I'm gonna come back here again and I'm gonna do another one and call it Piano Melody. And then I'm gonna uh, come into the Piano Roll by right clicking on it, press Piano Roll, and I'm going to drop it in there. And I'm gonna have to change this around so that it fits a little bit better because um, I want this thing to be, uh, I think it's got to end on this last part. So it should start about there. And it's going to end at that second bar. Whoops. And then I'm going to control and click on that last one and just trim that up so that it stops and repeats. So now we've created this piano melody. And so now I should be able just to drop that on top and it should sound basically the same as what we just recorded, but if we had missed it or we hadn't recorded it, now it's, it's there for us to be able to use. That's pretty cool, right? Well, hopefully that was helpful for you to be able to see some of the quick ways that you can put together melodies inside of FL Studio. If you're just starting out with FL Studio and you'd like some help with the basics of learning how to use the program to put together songs, then I've created a free three-part series that you can sign up for in the description below, and it'll walk you through how you can use FL Studio to make your own songs. 
So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and check out that link below. If you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you can get alerted every time I post a new video. And I will see you in the next round. Thank you.